Hey, what's up, guys? Aaron Bennett here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new changes to Crypto Earn in Crypto.com. It's going to be a short video, but I wanted to cover this. So heading to the computer, it says new tiered rate structure and higher rewards for select tokens. So it says as part of our commitment to deliver the best value for the users, we are introducing a tiered rewards rate structure for fixed term allocations in Crypto Earn, effective April 4th, 2022. The new structure will allow us to continuously provide attractive rates for the growing list of over 40 supported tokens. So what are the changes? Users will access rates based on the total value of their Crypto Earn assets allocated to fixed term one month or three month rates. Assets allocated to flexible terms will not count towards the fixed term tier allocation quota. So I'll explain this all in a moment. I'm gonna head over to the crypto earn section and explain to you exactly what this means. So tier one rates, the full rates are applicable to a quota of USD $30,000 allocated to fixed terms. Tier two rates, fixed term allocations that exceed $30,000 USD will receive half the full reward rate, 0.5x. The new tiered rates are only applicable to allocations placed from the effective date onward. So that effective date is April 4th. While the rewards rate for fixed term allocations that have already been placed remain unchanged, the value of those allocations will count towards the quota of $30,000 USD for tier one rates. In addition to the new tiers, there will also be rate changes for select tokens, including higher reward rates for ETH, DOT, and MATIC for select terms. There will be no changes to the holding term options, flexible one month or three months. Users can continue to enjoy better rates by staking Crow and Crypto.com private users are still entitled to an additional 2% a year on fixed term allocations paid in Crow. All right, let's go over what this basically all means. So this is only for the fixed term amounts. So in this little calculator, you can do flexible one month or three months. And we know how to do this on the app. I've showed you guys a million times. Very, very simple. So this only relates if you are doing one month or three month terms. And if the total amount approaches 30,000 US dollars. So that could be $5,000 in one month terms. And then another $25,000 in three month, that would be $30,000. Or you can have $30,000 all in three month terms or $30,000 all in one month terms, or it can again be a combination. So once you hit 30,000 USD, it will go from whatever it shows here, which if you have 4,000 staked, for example, you'd be paid 12% on stable coins, it would go to 6%. So what that means is that let's say you have $30,000 in a three month term, and then you do another $10,000 three month term. So now you're at $40,000. That three month term for 10 grand for, in this example, USD coin would earn you 6% a year. So you would get half the percent on anything above $30,000. But this only starts after April fourth. So right now, if you have $200,000 in crypto earns that are all in three month terms, for example, those won't go down as long as they're already staked right now. But like it says here, the value of those allocations. So if you have $200,000, you're well over 30 grand. And let's say on April 4th, you still have $200,000 in fixed terms, right? Let's say you have another month, for example, or another two months of those three month terms, you will then only get the tier two rates because you're way above the $30,000 USD limit. So who does this really affect? Well, people who are having $30,000 plus, which is a lot of people. I mean, uh, that's, that's a lot of people who this is going to affect. And it is a big deal. And I want to kind of give you guys some perspective. Celsius Network recently lowered their rates too on a lot of things. BlockFi is having horrible rates right now. And I assume Nexo has too. I really haven't kept up with Nexo and other protocols like Yield Labs. And there are several other ones. My guess is they have lowered their rates as well. The market conditions have changed in a way 
where if you are dealing with institutions and they're wanting to take loans from you or however you're generating yield, you're not going to be able to generate as much yield right now. So what's happening is crypto.com is just following suit. They're doing what BlockFi and Celsius have done as well. So this does not surprise me. It would surprise me more if they did nothing because then it's like, wait, everyone else is lowering their rates. Why aren't you and how does that work? How does that make sense? So this would affect you again if you are staking over 30 grand and you are doing one or three month terms. After your 30 grand, you may want to look at other options. For example, you may want to take a look at Celsius if you have never used that and you only use crypto.com or not. It's totally up to you. But basically, all of your rates will be cut in half once you're above 30 grand, or I should say any amount of money that's above 30 grand. And there is no limit for flexible. So the flexible term for stable coins, if you have $4,000 staked, which would give you the Indigo card or the Jade card, you are going to get 8% right now. So even if you have over $30,000, if you are doing flexible terms, you're still going to get the same rate. The flexible terms are not going to be cut in half over $30,000. So guys, that's it for the video. Just wanted to make this little update for you guys. Again, this starts on April 4th, so you don't really need to do anything right now. This is something just to be aware of, so you're not surprised if you fall into this category. If you have hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars worth of crypto staked inside of crypto.com, you will notice a decrease if you redo those term stakes. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.